Okay, so we're about to get back into this tea and cocoa. The last two episodes, we watched them make Squid, which came out horribly, and then Snapper, which just came out all types of a hot mess. But yeah, we're about to get back into this series, so let's go. Hey, can you tell? This is show. Hey, can you tell? This is show. Can you tell? Wow. Well, I mean, I'm not telepathetic. Okay. But, um, Tell the what? It's fine. It's fine. No, no, I it's swear no, don't it's fine. No, don't even do that. It's not. No, don't even do that. No baseball cap for right, you so and promotion of this video. Do you oh, I didn't even read the title, so I don't know what they're making. <laughs> Okay. Like Welcome back to the Tea and Coco show where we teach you guys how to cook things. The complete Y'all don't even know how to cook. Oh. What it is y'all be cooking. Donuts. Holy moly donuts. Oh, okay. Donuts? I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. It's not as traumatizing uh, as the other two. already done and we can just From eat them. Scratch. Before we do that, mm -hmm. these aprons are giving. These We're aprons giving are giving. Color coordination. Yes. We're giving cleanly. Wow. Light. Thank you, Haley and Bennett, for keeping us looking our best while we make our worst. Ooh. Y'all heard it. That was cute. You've got the one recipe. In yes. About three hours. Oh, oh, damn. Three hours for donuts. We need to get started. We need to go. We need to go. This is a 20 minute show. <laughs> So, Respect to Krispy Kreme. I didn't know it was gonna be like this. When that hot side is on, you better show up because they've been working. Okay. The donuts aren't hot. The employees are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the milk until it's warm, but not hot. Uh. About 90 degrees. Now how the hell? We supposed why, to measure that? Why? Go ahead. In a large bowl, combine it with yeast. A large bowl. I'm just. I know. <laughs> I you do. Do I eat bacon? I don't know. You might be one of the people who I don't eat pork. I sleep in bacon. Really? You I do? want to. Is it comfortable? What I do is at nighttime mm -hmm. on my George Foreman grill, Okay. I put bacon on don't it. Don't quote Michael freaking Scott tonight. I hate you. Don't do it. Don't grill your foot. So that. In the name. So that in the morning. <laughs> of the office. Oh my God, this big ass. Nice. Girl, you can turn are you going to space? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> I didn't want to spill an ounce because I want these donuts to do it. They need to do. They need to hit. In a large bowl, combine the heated milk with the yeast. Stir lightly and let sit until the mixture is foamy. About, About five, five minutes. minutes. Okay. Large bowl. Now you put it on medium to heat it. This is very simple. Not hot, so I don't want to put it on H. We so should check the temp of this. Let's do it like a baby. Oh. You see the temperature? <laughs> Not like a baby. What were you gonna do? I was gonna put it on my... Now, That's how, how would it. you know that that was 90 degrees, putting it right here? Because. What? No. Where's the science our bodies, there? Our bodies are 98.6 if you're normal and corona free. So if you put it up there and it's a little bit cooler, just a little bit cooler than how you feel. Just follow the instructions. Like, the words you're saying sound good, <laughs> but they don't add up. <laughs> So let's thermometer it. Okay. Mm, uh, it's zero degrees hot. <laughs> it's, I mean, let's give it, it something. You have to turn it on. No. Yeah. The milk is definitely warm, not hot. So we should mix. So stirring lightly, spoon. Oh no, it's clumping. Oh. Is that supposed to happen? Stir lightly and let sit until the mixture is foamy, about five minutes. Is this gonna get foamy by itself? I hope if if science is Why would it just Okay, so if I let it sit, let's let let us let it sit. That's just gonna get foamy on its own. I don't know. I've never heard of anything like that. I don't know what's going on. Beat the eggs, butter, sugar, and salt into the yeast mixture. So we're gonna beat it and then we're gonna put it in there. Hmm? Then but then they should have been in there? No, I think um no. They making this um, too complicated for me. The same person who wrote these instructions <laughs> no, did the damn fish trout in a large bowl. That is a large bowl. It did not say it the sand. It did not say the mixture. Combine it with the yeast, the milk and the yeast. That's that bowl. I stirred it lightly and it is sitting for another four minutes, three minutes and 48 seconds. It ain't foamed a bit. <laughs> it ain't foamed a bit. Not a bubble in sight. And using an electric mixer, beat the eggs, butter, sugar, and salt into the yeast mixture. mixture. So two eggs, mm -hmm. cause that's how many I see. Butter. Butter, boom. A stick of butter. Is that sugar blend? Uh-huh, like so. Is it room boom, temperature? Boom, 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 boom. And yes. it has to be room and temperature. Terrell, how come there's only a minute left and this isn't foaming at all? How come it's not giving it 
any phone. When it's supposed to keep stirring, it said it stir, stir lightly, lightly and let sit. sit. Yes. I think I should stir some more. So Let did me you stir whisk some more it? Before. Let me see. Now maybe maybe that's whisk it. Pump. No, that's just you. I don't know. Maybe you need a whisk. Ever like cinnamon toast crunch? Maybe it wasn't water. warm enough. Maybe you thought it was hot enough, and maybe I put my it... finger in there and I said, "Ouchie." You did. It was hot. <laughs> it's literally step number one. What do we do now? It's not giving foam. I don't even know. Should we should we just try it again? We have more milk. We're gonna do this again, okay? Because our yeast mixture is not foamy. Let's do that same thing again. Okay. So milk in first, maybe this time. Okay. And Ooh, yes. Myris. Ooh, what happened? Is it hot? No. <laughs> Stirring lightly. Oh crap. What? It fell in so fast. Ooh. <laughs> you don't like the smell of <laughs> It's not really real. I, you can set the timer. Yes, I will do that part. <laughs> timer set for five minutes. Milk and yeast will stand. Trial. Milk and yeast better foam. You better, you better, you better foam for us. You better foam. You better foam for us. Cause I want some donuts. Give now I want to try to make donuts. donuts. Give me some donuts. Cause you know I be baking give and stuff me now. Some so. donuts. <laughs> Give me some donuts. Give me some donuts. Give me some donuts. Hey, give hey, me some hey, donuts. Give me some donuts. Give me some donuts. Cool. Um. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I was gonna say because it looked like the protocol wasn't protocol. Is that a thing? Yep. Okay. Because I knew it and it felt like Fine. it didn't. Give me some donuts. Ooh. Yeah. We're so excited for these donuts! Oh! Yeah, because it's show. something that's not disgusting. Hey, 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 into this, right? Yeah. This is what activated yeast is supposed to look like. Not this crap. They done fucked up already. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Then we're gonna add half of the flour, which is two cups plus two tablespoons. Now, okay. now you have to, to do level. this the way. Yes. This is the way you do it. You put it all there, and then you do some more. Wait, uh -huh. it's not gathering. All right. And then you, you need like a thing this. to level it up. And then you do finger. this. You That's gotta like finger, do this. You wanna do your finger? That's how to the get the excess well, you off. You got your good nails on now. Do it. There you go. Hello. You just there you go. Yes. You and just yes. Do it. Mix in the yes, rest of the flour until the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Add more flour if the dough is too wet. Mm -hmm. If you're using an electric mixer, the mm -hmm. dough will probably become too thick to beat. When it does, mm -hmm. transfer it to a floured surface. Gently knead it until smooth. Grease a lot. Oh, yeah, God. honestly, true. No. Because okay, what? so that's four steps right there. Right. Okay, so in that goes mixing. I need to get right. one of those hmm. uh, electric. It's, it's um, about to get doughy. Mm. It's, it's electric. It's, that happened very quickly. One of those. You know <laughs> what I mean. Hmm. The dough will probably become too thick to beat. When it does, transfer it to a floured surface. Well, we need a floured surface. First okay. Of all. I think it's too thick to beat because look, when so? I pull this up, look, that ain't going nowhere. You might be right. Oh, all right. Damn oh. it. Gently knead it until smooth. Okay. Is it kneadable? I'm going to give it a shot here. Wow. No? Yeah! We need an oiled bowl. Oh. oh. Damn it. Greasing this large bowl with a little oil. Okay. And then we're gonna place it in there and we're gonna let it rise. Oh, we're gonna let it prove. We're gonna prove the dough. I've heard them say that on the television show, the Great British Breaking Show. You have Figure to one. let it. That looks, that looks smooth. Oh, there's a little more. She said, I want every donut and every donut bite. <laughs> My shit was smooth, girl. Damn it. Okay, so do it. sit it in here? Just pop on. <laughs> okay. Let rise at room temperature until it doubles in size, about an hour. Ooh, damn. About an hour. An First of all, it's not even room temperature in here. It's <laughs> ice cream. <training. laughs> One it suggestion, is... put cling wrap over it, okay. and then put 
a towel on top of that, oh. so it keeps it kind of warm oh. in there. Okay. Okay. It's so help it rise. I'm never good at this part here. I know. It's not fun for me. Don't worry. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh. You know what? Let's just go back. If we can't do cling wrap. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Okay. Now stretch it over. Mm hmm. Oh! Here okay, we go. okay, okay, okay. All right. Now give it tight to rip. What? Now let's give it like a, a nice palm warm. tree in the middle of Los Angeles. Still, I rise. I just want this to have the warmest yes. home <laughs> that you've ever seen. <laughs> yes. This way, yep. Okay. It That's will, just it to keep rise. it cozy. Look at that. That's gonna rise. And no, see, they should have had that done for them already. Like that cooking show magic, where it's like, they already have it ready for them. They really gotta sit there and wait a whole hour. Mm-mm. One hour has finally elapsed. And finally. right when we open this, it's supposed to double in size. Please. Okay, please double. Please. See, please double. did it, did it do it? Please. Double. Did it do double. it? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> it depends on what we started out with. Now, let me see. You know what? It's the instructions, it's giving, I feel like. It's giving 1.25. It's not giving me 2x. It's giving me 1.25x. No. No. That's not doubled in size. It's just not. It's just not doubled in size. Let's see. Oh, so they don't want to come out. <laughs> it goes there. There it is. So roll it, so roll it, so roll it, so roll it, ah. and roll it, and roll it. Donut cutter. Uh, no? What did we make? <laughs> What do you see? Like when those little tests when you go to the psychologist? Of course. What, what do you not. see? I um I see a Dorito. Mmm. Maybe it's from that angle. Let me see. You see a Dorito? It looks like I don't want to say what it looks like. An elephant. Oh my wow. God. You see an elephant too? Oh. It looks like a chunk. Maybe a sombrero. Oh, it's a little cosas pequeñas. <laughs> Cut out the donuts with a donut cutter. Concentric, Concentric cookie cutters. cutters. Put the donuts on two flour baking sheet sheets so that there is plenty of room between each one. Cover with a kitchen towel and let it rise. Okay. For how long did you say? What is it? Let it rise in a warm place so there is slightly puffed up delicate for about another 45 minutes. Now, sir. Now, damn it. We just waited for the first one. Sir, are you serious? Some donuts? I don't know how much I'm supposed to do here. So while we're doing this, before. question, Coco, how do you stay motivated to do what you do during the time of COVID of the 19? I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, it's an inconsistent energy. Mm, you better speak your truth. Down. That's just- Speak your truth. Truth is I be tired and I'm chilling at the house. Uh-huh. There's nobody to blame. Uh. And it's quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I mean, when you're your own boss, yeah, it's like who going who going to check me, boo? Who going to check you, boo? I check your damn self. Exactly. As I've gotten older, I've been like, okay, uh -huh. <laughs> this ain't funny no more. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Right, right, right. But um, that has to come with like making mistakes and yes. realizing like, hmm, I'm really the only one to blame for my demise wow. or my growth. I'm really the only one. Wow. Yeah. You know? Yes. How do you um, yeah. stay motivated, stay accountable, all the stays? Woo! I'm inspired by other people who have really like taken hold of their own destinies. Mm. I think everybody who is successful, anybody who's trying to do anything as crazy as being an entertainer, yeah. they've all had moments of being let down. But it's the keep of the going. It's the keep of the going. That me. is the important thing. It's the persistence for The me. persistence. You have to be persistent and you have to be unapologetic about your art. One thing you can be sure of is you're not gonna get where you need to go if you stop moving. Wow. If the car is in park, and you're sitting there eating your Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you will not ever get to work. Okay. Okay? Unless okay. you work at Chick-fil-A. 
But you still ain't getting into work because you're in the car. You're in the car. Cover with a kitchen towel and let it rise in a warm place until they are slightly puffed up and delicate, about 45 minutes. If your kitchen isn't warm, it's not warm in here. Heat the oven to 200, turn off the heat, put in the baking sheets in the oven, leaving the door ajar. About 15 minutes before the donuts are done rising, put the oil in a heavy bottom pot over medium heat to 375. So it has been That's another much. 45 <laughs> minutes of riserization, and when they come out of this proven situation, they're supposed to be, what did it say? Puffed, Puffed up and, and delicate. delicate. Okay, it's been there for more than 45 minutes, so if I don't see a puff up. Or a delicate. I'm gonna have a problem. Puffed up and delicate. No, no, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Or Dells. <laughs> They're exactly the nothing same. Nothing has changed. Wouldn't Drake what say? Nothing was the same. No, no, that's wrong. That's opposite. Everything I think it's because of. Everything was the same. What are we going to do? What was it before? And it didn't I'm rise? It didn't foam up? Goods. I don't know. Put, right, them in well. the, put them in this cast iron. Maybe they'll get pluffed up and delicate in the fry. This has got to read 375 degrees. So the put this in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. That thing rolls. Yeah. The only thing that, that rolls, rolls today, today. Please. <laughs> it did something, but not. Oh, no, it's not it's coming stuck, off of it. It's sticking? It's, it's okay. so flat. Oh, okay. Oh. oh, they're floating. That's a good that sign. That means it cooked in like five seconds. That's not How a good How long is it supposed to do? The oil will be delicate. Pick it up with your fingers. And then use a metal spatter to pick it up. It's okay if they're deflated a little bit. And then we'll put it with the fry to fry. 40 seconds to a minute. Flip now. That's giving me, yeah. Oh, oh. Wait, Ooh. Terrell. Wait. Wait. Did we do something? I don't know. Wait. Flipping. Okay. Flipping. Okay. Now hold up. And then we'll use the tongity tongs to get them out. God, please let this work. Here's the tongity tongs. Tong. I dropped the instructions. Tongity tong. <laughs> oh, I can't pick this up. I need to see what it look like out the oil. <laughs> Here it goes. No. Okay, one second. These donuts <laughs> are pitiful. This ain't right, y'all. They're, they're giving me they're, onion, they're, but it's okay. I was oh. just thinking that. <laughs> The best we could do. This is not a. They look like little onion rings. Disc. Shit! Damn it! What? I'm just gonna start putting toppings on them. Maybe the toppings will help. I don't know. These look like. Ooh, look at the donut holes. And now we got to make the glaze. I forgot about the glaze. That, that looks, looks like, like a chew toy. N don't you zoom in on that? Hold on. We. Let me make it a little bit prettier. Here. How about this? I mean. Mm -hmm. How do you make it prettier? Just covering it with more chocolate. I'm gonna put bacon on it, cause that's gonna help it. I'm gonna work on the glaze while you cook more donuts, okay? Okay. Oh, God. Uh-uh, what are you doing? Two cups of powdered sugar, one fourth cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla. I thought I was professional, but I'm a little overwhelmed. This glaze is, is looking like the only thing that's right today. Wow, smell that. For, for, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that smells good. Maybe. That maybe. smells just like a glaze. What's the glaze giving? Is it, is it anything? Come is on, it giving glaze? Seriously? No? What glaze tastes like pet milk. I no. don't know what the hell that is. Let me try. How you mess up the glaze? I mean, it's giving easy bake oven. <laughs> Ooh. Come on now. I'm gonna put some cinnamon toast crunch on it. It looks like my hands are ashy, but it's just flour, y'all, so leave me alone. It's <laughs> and that's, just... You have to say that these days. You I know? do. And I've been washing my hands ashy. every five seconds, okay. so some of it may, may be ash. But how about I don't got Rona, though? How about that? <laughs> Notice how he's only using my donuts, the ones that are like perfectly tanned and not the ones who are giving asphalt. Let's just point that out. Yeah, that one is done. Um, <laughs> the way it basketball bounced off the ground is astounding. Okay, we're gonna do <laughs> frosted flake. I mean, uh, what are these called? Maybe Fruit that's a good thing. The way none of them it's like fluffy. All the donut because it's such a small platter. They all fell through. I didn't they want you to know that. I was gonna put some more. <laughs> They wow. all landed on the inside. They I have can't. nowhere to sit. There, there's they nowhere, have to, nowhere sit. to sit. Wait, we have to <laughs> physically place them because it's a very thin barrier. We have to physically place. 
Just physically place. Let's just plate it. <laughs> it might taste okay. <laughs> it looks like a disaster, but it might taste good. That's how it be sometimes. <laughs> oh, with the four frosted plates on here. It's giving out of the box. Out of the box. This is definitely something I would do with my child and be like, this is just for fun. Like, no real eating here. Isn't this fun? How? Yeah. How? We followed <laughs> everything. I gave that my all, and Coco was right there next to me. Yes. Watermelon, we, we started with that. We measured the milk. We measured the milk. The milk was measured. What did we do wrong? You don't know. Do you know? I think it was in the very first step. Yeah. Get your motorcycle and get out of here. <laughs> get out Honestly, of here. Get, get <laughs> on that bike. And get the hell out. Pop a wheelie, <laughs> skirt off. Let's taste the damn things while we're talking about it. They might hit a little different because they look very different. Now you can't even afford to eat these. Oh, you didn't even hear us on the first try, okay? <laughs> is, there, is there much to chew? Go ahead. What you yeah. feel about it? I'm trying first. I'm gonna try. How come you haven't swallowed? <laughs> She just bit right into it. That's um, actually really not that bad. Mine tastes like a pancake. What is happening with the taste buds? Come here. Please taste one. Here. The texture. Because she is always nutty. be like, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Bit. <laughs> that no, no, it's not that bad. I'm telling you, it's the toppings. It, okay, so you're so having the topping I, I will have a chocolate. You can't eat a chocolate. I'm gonna try it because of, no, no, I'm you're, not gonna hate it. I'm not gonna hate it. You're going to vomit. I'm not. Give me some bacon. Real talk. You're literally in these, going to vomit on camera. In these streets. Hello. 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 It seems like everyone's really against you eating chocolate. Yeah, they shouldn't. It's, there was sugar all in it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> should I show them? We should show them the texture. Look on the inside. Come in. Here we go. It's giving. It's, it's giving sourdough bread, but, <laughs> I know. but it's, with the right glaze. This is overcooked, undercooked, overglazed, <laughs> underflavored dough <laughs> with no nuts. There's no nuts here. <laughs> and I swear we followed that recipe to a T. But I think maybe the yeast was it. Did you get me expired yeast or something? I don't think so. The yeast did not activate. I think maybe you have to push a button. Get out. <laughs> you know what they should do if they haven't if they don't have it up already because it is about how the instructions are on the recipe where it's like i'm the type of person i can't really read like recipe instructions i have to watch youtube videos otherwise it does kind of get confusing so i feel like just like for fun or whatever they should post the recipe instructions on i guess in the description box or they should post it somewhere and let their viewers like um follow the follow the instructions that they had and then you know maybe like post how their outcome came out or whatever because yeah reading reading it can be a little bit confusing but i mean this wasn't no this was bad they were all this is they, they were all bad i was hoping i was really hoping that they were gonna get it right in this one but it still came out bad <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this reaction please make sure to leave a like comment subscribe i will see you in my next reaction video